I gave the gift of life. 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 It was in the summer of 1991 that I was down the Jersey Shore and started to feel like I had a bad case of the flu and went to a local doctor's office who in turn did some blood work and then sent me to the hospital and it was actually a resident in the emergency room who told me that he thought that I had leukemia. Gift of Life is a public bone marrow donor registry uh, that recruits donors throughout North America to transplant patients with blood cancer all over the world. Gift of Life's mission is to cure blood cancer through marrow and blood stem cell donation. We want to see a day when every patient suffering from blood cancer has an equal opportunity to find the matching donor they need when they need it so that no patient and no family is ever told that their loved one will die simply because they can't find a match. My role at the Gift of Life is the Director of Community Engagement. I oversee recruitment front office as well as the operations and logistics of it. And in addition to events such as 5Ks, fundraisers, and marketing. My name is Crystal Mahana and I'm a campus ambassador for Florida Atlantic University. Being a campus ambassador and being a campus ambassador for FAU, I feel that my relationship with the gift of life and the, the 40 employees that work here is so far beyond just a student and supervisor position. These people look at me like I'm their sister, their daughter, their friend. I confide in them and they confide in me. If I have a hard day, I know that there's somebody I can talk to. If something didn't go right out of drive, there's somebody there to offer me advice, to push me forward, and to keep me motivated. The person who's interested in joining the registry, first, it's very important that they understand what it is they're signing up for. And knowing that by joining the registry, they are becoming part of an international registry and can be called as a match for any patient searching worldwide. Gift of Life has gone through many phases of donor registration. Our latest phase includes speed swabbing. A speed swabbing kit asks a potential donor to only provide a few pieces of information including their first name, last name, date of birth, email, and a signature and phone number. They then continue to swab their cheek. Following their swab, they are texted or emailed a link to complete their HHQ. So speed swabbing consists of a two-part process, one the swabbing itself and then second their HHQ. I first got involved with the gift of life um, back when I swapped when I was in college. So I swapped my cheek, registered to be a potential donor uh, and then a year and a half later I got a call that said you're a match and it was for a four-year-old boy who had leukemia and it wound up being his perfect match and donated bone marrow. Um, a year after that I got to meet him and that was eight years ago. Now he's 12 years old, he's completely healthy and I've gotten to know him really well. I've been working at Gift of Life for five years and I first learned about the organization nine years ago when my brother needed a bone marrow transplant and his donor came through the organization. So I first swabbed when I was actually in Israel uh, and I was 18 years old. Uh, I swabbed my cheek uh, and joined the bone marrow registry. Uh, one year later I was a sophomore at Syracuse University and I got called uh, by a woman named Gail at the Gift of Life and was told that I was a perfect match for a 59 year old woman who was dying of leukemia at the time and I had the opportunity to donate to her. Uh, and I think at age 19, I realized uh, just how impactful donation is, not only for the recipient, but for the donor as well. The Campus Ambassador Program is revolutionary for Gift of Life. The Campus Ambassador Program is a way for Gift of Life to reach college students on their college campus. We always want to register as many young donors as possible. Um, the reason for that is most bone marrow donors fall between the ages of 18 to 25. And so where are most 18 to 25 year olds? They're in college. And so the Campus Ambassador Program allows us to have campus reps all over the country, not at one school or two schools, but 100 schools in every state.
the Campus Ambassador Symposium is a three-day comprehensive training which brings every ambassador from all over the country together in South Florida to go through the complexities of the bone marrow industry. Uh, they hear from donors, recipients, industry professionals, medical oncologists, as to equip them with a full understanding of how to go back to campus and be really successful in this new role. It gave you tools and tips and tricks for marketing, for event planning, for collaborating with students across the United States, and it gave us the opportunity to meet one another. So currently uh, there's about a hundred uh, campus ambassadors that are working for us all throughout the country from Maine to Hawaii to Florida to Nevada uh, and so there's you know a really wide national representation for the gift of life uh, with students that are all similarly minded in the sense that they want to help uh, and that's what binds them together and it enables them to grow their individual networks. I became a CAP because I was looking for an opportunity, an opportunity to work with other people, an opportunity to do something different, and an opportunity to make a difference. We have an ambassador at the University of Arizona, and we have an ambassador who goes to school in New York City, who's originally from Arizona. And when the New York City one was home for a break, they ran a drive together at U of A. Um, and suddenly we got these pictures that showed up on our, on our mini feed of these two ambassadors who had never met before the symposium from very different walks of life, uh, different religions, different cultures, and here they were smiling with Gift of Life shirts on. The biggest growing experience that I've had as a CAP is understanding that things aren't always going to go my way. I strive at being really good at my job and what people don't realize is there's a lot of myths and a lot of misperception about bone marrow and stem cell donations and going in and trying to get people to register with the bone marrow foundation those misperceptions those myths they all come into play so within the last eight months since we began in august uh, there's been 25,000 college students that have been swabbed through this program, uh, which is a huge testament to our current ambassadors and the hard work that they've put in. And as a result, uh, there's been upwards of 10 matches uh, already. The future of the Campus Ambassador Program is a really exciting one. Uh, I think for Alec and I, and also for everybody at Gift of Life, for everybody that I talk to who knows about this stuff, um, the Campus Ambassador Program is, is the future of getting bone marrow donors signed up. To know that there are these campus reps um, educating their peers, talking about why it's important, um, really doing the difficult side of registering donors, that's exciting because we've never had this happen before. You know, all these donors come from this age range, and yet that's always happened without there being something like the Campus Ambassador Program. The fact that there's going to be so many more donors signing up because of it is uh, just, you can't even explain how important it is. Um. We're hoping that uh, in 10 years, Gift of Life will be at a point when every patient who needs a donor will have one. Our slogan is a match for everyone in need whenever they need one. And we won't rest until that happens. So 10 years from now, and hopefully less than 10 years from now, we'll be at that point when every patient who needs one will have a match.